It was a long speech, over two hours. But Vladimir Putin kept the fighting talk for the start, tackling head-on debates in Europe over possible ground troops for Ukraine and strikes beyond Ukraine's borders. They must grasp that we also have weapons. Yes, they know this, as I've just said, capable of striking targets on their territory. He said his forces in Donbass had the initiative and would continue to press on. He warned of the dangers of nuclear war, even as he boasted of his own nuclear arsenal. And he said the US could not pick and choose when they wanted to talk. They have recently made unfounded allegations, in particular against Russia, regarding plans to deploy nuclear weapons in space. Such fake narratives, and this story is unequivocally false, are designed to involve us in negotiations on their conditions, which will only benefit the United States. But this was mostly a pre-election speech, State of the Nation style, talking up the family, the economy and the future. As the event wrapped up, a mass outpouring of mostly men, 100% Team Putin. The main message for the West is that it is necessary to build its policy, taking into account the interests of Russia, and there will be no other way. The West shouldn't be afraid. We are not going to, uh, to attack anyone, that's for sure. But, uh, but Russia attacked Ukraine. Uh, uh, no, uh, Russia is defending uh, their people. And, and talk of Alexei Navalny does not go down that well. Why shouldn't they think that Russia is a gangster state? No comment, he says. There is a perpetual sense of victimhood to Vladimir Putin's speeches. The it's not us, it's them, the West is out to get us, whilst also sabre-rattling, discussing about how a nuclear war would be catastrophic. But I think the fact that we were even invited this year as Western press, where for a long time we haven't been, speaks to his confidence at the moment. And all the while, in another corner of Moscow, preparations underway for the burial of Alexei Navalny, who will be laid to rest on Friday. The police already in situ, unclear how the day will unfold. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.